Hi guys, I'm gonna show you this activity or example uh, using Patron and we're gonna know how to use list and groups. Alright, you need to have Patron open, then we have workshop objectives become familiar to tool that is used to create and manipulate lists of entities not element and then we have the problem description create a model of a portion of fairing cubes and surface will be used to define the fairing geometry using 2d elements with 1d elements at various edges and we have the thickness temperature and we're gonna use some tools such as list and boolean intersections all right <clears throat> we go next we have the key concepts and steps what is database what is geometry what is elements loads etc first we need to go uh, file and to new enter fighting for the file name click ok Set the tolerance to default and make sure that the analysis code and analysis type are set to MS, Nostran and Structural respectively. And then we have the second step, create model geometry. We need to create the points and curves that represent the outline of the fairing so for this step we go geometry create point XYZ and always don't forget to turn out execute off All right we enter the points coordinates as 3d 0 0 and click apply Right, and then um, we are gonna put it zero, one hundred twenty, and zero for a vector, and then uh, the coordinates uh, fifty and forty and zero uh, for six, y, and z on the vector coordinates list and the region coordinates list respectively. Then click apply. Click on show levels icon and then click on point size icon to increase the point size. Then, then we go to geometry and create curve and point and always turn off the auto execute. Click on point one on the starting point list. and click on point 2 for ending point list and then click apply alright and illustrate here are curves that represent the basic geometry for the fang so this curve will be revolved 360 degrees to get the final model so to do that uh, we create the fairing by revolving curves 1 and 2 about the fairings vertical center line all right first we go geometry create surface and revolve enter core 0 0.2 for axis enter Enter 360 for the total angle. Angle. Sorry. And turn off the auto execute. 
shift select curve 1 and 2 and then click apply and go uh, viewing and select angles enter 3d 0 0 under angles and then click apply Then change the display preferences in order to get a clear visual of the model. Go display and geometry, enter 3 for number of display lines, click apply, then cancel. Alright, then create a finny elemental mesh so that four node quad elements are created every 10, 10 um, along the circumferential edges. Elements, create, mesh, set, and uniform. Select number of elements and enter 36 for the number. Select the top circumferential edge of the fairing surface. 1.3 and click apply Alright, so in the vertical direction, Y direction define a smoothly transitioning mesh density. The elements along the top of the cylinder are 2.5 times as large as those along the bottom edge. So we go elements and then create mesh set, one Y bus, select L1 and L2 and enter 7 and 10 for L1 and L2 um, like that and then turn off the auto execute so then under curve list select curve 1 and click apply L2 and enter 4 and 7 for L1 and L2 respectively. Under curve list, select curve 2 and click apply. Now that the mesh sets have been created, mesh the model using Quad for topology. Ele go elements, create mesh surface, select quad as mesh and quad for select entire model by dragging a box around around it and click apply. Remove the display lines by clicking the on the display lines icon. 
Remove the levels by clicking the high levels icon. Decrease the point size, click it on the point size icon. Measure the horizontal circumferential edges of each surface with two nuded bar elements. Click on plot arrows icon and click on arrows under FEM. Click OK. Elements, go elements, create, match, and cure. Set topology to bar 2. Shift select the three surface edges as indicated. Click apply. Check the free edges of the model equivalence and then check the free edges again. Go elements, verify element, boundaries, go select free edges under display type and then click apply. Elements, Equivalence, All, and Tolerance Give. Then click Apply and repeat the step A to C. So we're gonna create a group. Replot the fem and create a group called fem containing only the Fini element model. Right? We go click on the plot earth icon 
on the frame, click plot, click OK, group, create, enter theme as name, and select and pause all other groups, change group, contents to add all theme, and then click apply. Right, create the first material for the model. Material alum one will be applied to the top cylindrical portion of the fairing. All right, go uh, materials or properties and create isotropic and manual input. Enter alum one for the material name. Click on input properties. Select linear elastic and enter. 1.05 E7 and then 0 0.33 and 2.6 E minus 4 for elastic models, position ratio and density. Then click OK and click apply. Alright, create the second material for the model, material alum 2 will be applied to the bottom portion of the fairing. Go materials, create isotropic manual input, enter alum 2 for the material name. Click on input properties, select linear elastic and enter 1.18 E7 0.33 and 2.4 E minus 4 for elastic models, position, ratio, and density. Click OK and click Apply. Define file fields sorry, that represent the varying thickness and temperature distribution. Fields create a special PCL function. Enter thickness for the field name. Enter 1.5 minus y divided by uh, 160 for the scalar function and click apply. Fields create special PCL function. Enter temperature for the field name. Enter now uh, two hundred point zero um, in parentheses at one hundred fifty divided by one hundred sixty and multiply for x for the scalar friction and click apply.
create two elements properties which include the material definitions and variant thickness. Click on the front view icon, then properties, create uh, 2D shell, enter prop1 for the property set name, click on click on input properties, click on material properties, name icon and select alum1 from select existing material. Alright, finish creating the first property set. Click on thickness icon and select thickness under select exciting fill. Click OK. Preferences, picking and set rectangle polygon picking to enclose entire entity. Cl click close, click on select members and click on the shell element. icon. Select the top cylindrical portion of the frame by dragging the box around the side section. Click add then apply. There you go. Create the second property set. Properties create 2D shell. Enter prop 2 for the property set name. Click on input properties. Click on material properties name. Icon and select alum 2 from select system material. Click on thickness icon and select thickness. From select scale special fuel, click OK, click on select members and select the bottom chipper portion of the frame by dragging the box around it and then click add and apply. Then we define the model's variant temperature distribution. Loads create temperature nodal. Enter term for the new set name. Click on input data. Click on temperature and select temperature for the special fields. Click OK, click on Select Application Region, on the Geometry Filter select FEM, click on Application Region and select the entire model, all nodes. Click Add, then OK, and then click Apply.
turn off the temperature level in order to get a better visualization of the model. Alright, go display, load element prop, under load, or remove check for temperature, and then click apply, then cancel. <clears throat> Sorry, material, alum 1, thickness, and temperature. Alright, so first go tools and then list, create, fem, element, attribute, and then under attribute select material. Under existing material select alum 1, set the target list to A and click apply. Define list B to include only the quad elements that have a thickness greater than 0 0.98. Alright, so go properties and then show under existing properties select thickness. Set the applied met method to scalar plot. Select current B part, select film and click apply. After defining the list parameters, add the elements with thickness greater than 0 0.98 to list B. Tools, go list and create, fem, element, attribute, under attribute select fringe value, under fringe tools select default fringe. change f to to greater than and enter 0 0.98 select big for the target list and click on apply Intersect list A and B and replace the contents of list A with the elements following the intersections. Go tools, list and boolean. Click on the intersection icon, click on replace A and click cancel. Perform a final classification of the elements. Isolate those elements that satisfy the two conditions of the applied temperature low greater than 230. Alright, we go load, plot contours, temperature, select temp from the existing set, select temperature under select data variable, select the FEM group and click apply.
Clear the contents of list B and add the values obtained from the final classifications. Go Tools, List, Create, Fem, Element, Attribute, then select Fringe Value. And default fringe for attribute and fringe tools, respectively. Change F to greater than and enter 203. Select B for target list. Click on clear on the list B form and then click apply on the list create form. Alright, then list A and B will be intersected again to create a list C. This list will contain the elements that satisfy all three conditions. The contents of list C will then be placed into a new group called common quads. Go tools, then list, boolean, click clear, click on the intersection icon, click on add to group, enter common quads for the group name, click apply, and then Cancel. For the common quant group, this is the group of the elements that satisfy all three of the conditions defined earlier. So go group, post, select the common quads group, under select groups to post, click apply, then cancel. And then click on the ISO first view icon. And uh, there you go, this is the ISO first view of the elements in the common quads group. These are all the elements that satisfy all three conditions. Conditions, sorry. Then, create two new groups, two new groups, prop1 group and prop2 group. Then change the display attributes for each group. Click on the results graphics icon. Group create, create property set, enter prop1 group for the group name, select prop1 on the property set and click apply.
repeat steps B to E, entering prop2 group for, for the group name and selecting prop2 on the property sets. Alright, set the entity coloring and labeling to group mode and then change the display attributes for each of the two new groups. Go display, entity color, label, render, select group on, under entity coloring and labeling, select the prop 1 group on the target groups. Select uh, white frame for the render style and select yellow for the shade color. Click apply. Right. Then select the prop 2 group for the target groups. Select hidden line for uh, for the render style and select dark blue for, for the shade color. Click apply and then cancel. Uh, change views, views on, and pause the prop1 group. Click on the ISO tier view icon, then group and post. Under select groups to post, select prop1 group, then click apply. Post only the prop two group. Group post uh, under select groups to post. Select prop two group, and then click apply. And finally, post both the prop one group and the prop two group. Uh, go group and post under select groups to post. Select both prop one group and prop two group, and then finally click apply. And there you go. You have the model. Alright guys, this was all for me and I hope you enjoy uh, watching this video and if you wanna watch more videos about this uh, you can subscribe on our channel or just go next to the next video and that's it. Thank you very much.